Hey everyone, welcome or welcome back to another video. Today we are going to be continuing Red Dead Redemption. We haven't played in a little while. I had to take a little break. I've had some stuff going on, but we're not going to talk about it. Let's just hop right into the game. Let's go. Alright, here we go. Let's see, where did we leave? I don't know where we left off, to be honest. Um, trying to think. Okay, we saved Jack, right? Yeah, we saved Jack. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's where we left off at. Oh, we have to go see that one girl again. I think her name's like Mary Joel or Mary Ann or something like that. I don't know. It's Mary something, that's all I know. But yeah, we're going to do that today. Is my mic working? Yeah, it's working, okay. Alright. So. Who goes there? Arthur, dumbass. Welcome back, Arthur. Ah, you gotta love Arthur. Alright, we'll go to this mission over here. I'm pretty sure this is that one girl that we had to go save, get her brother from like a, a cult or something, here, I think. Mr. Morgan. Okay, this is not her then, I don't think. Oh, wait, is it? Hello, Mary Beth. Oh, how are you, Arthur? Oh, it is. How are you? Well, I'm well, I think. It's been quite a run we've had, but, but we're still alive. Mm -hmm. So, no regrets? Regrets for what? Oh, for joining this band of maniacs. If you're a girl without means in this world, life is very scary. You boys care for me before no one cared for me. Well, life weren't very nice, Arthur. Right after Mama got typhoid, and that was a long time ago. Sure. What about you? <clears throat> I heard you ran into that Mary girl. <laughs> <laughs> yep. And? You got me thinking how that all ended. Long time ago now. What happened? <laughs> well, she didn't love me enough, I guess. I wouldn't change. Huh. Well, she was a fool then, Arthur. Well, she put a lot of good years in on an outlaw. She definitely was a fool. In these books, life seems so simple, but in reality, I, I can't make head nor tail of it. Mr. Morgan! Mr. Morgan, we have a problem. A real problem. It's Tilly. What? She's oh. been taken by them Foreman brothers she used to run with. Come along! The Foreman brothers? What are they doing here? Well, I don't know what they've been doing here, but I can tell you what they're going to be doing here. Dying. Sure. Do we need more guns? You and I can handle this, Arthur. Okay, then. I'll tell you on the way. Just get going. All right, head for Rhodes. And quick. She's in Rhodes? No. She's at a place called Bradley's house, just west of there. How do you know? When we first got here, she told me she was worried that our camp was near a safe house that gang she ran with used from time to time. And you told Dutch? No. She spoke to me in confidence. I suppose I didn't think it would be a problem. And now it is. Oh, yes. What do they want with her anyway? I think I saw one of the foremans hassling her in Valentine. Yes. They probably followed us down here. You don't know what happened? She killed one of them, for good reason, but clearly they don't see it that way. Tilly? Yes. Young Tilly Jackson isn't as sweet and innocent as you might think. But, like I say, she was defending herself. She fled and fell in with us right after that. I just hope we can get to her in time. It's not too far. If they've touched a single hair on that girl's head, I will eviscerate the sons of bitches. See? You do care, Miss Grimshaw. Of course I care. About all of you fools. Some just require a firmer hand than others. You were fish. Okay, I think that's the place up ahead. Yeah. 
I think there's a guard. I'll deal with him. Whoa. What you want? Kind sir. We're lost and in need of some help. Oh, get out of here. Oh, I see that kindly face of yours. And I know that for the right inducement, a gentleman such as yourself could be mighty kind. Now get out of here. Oh, now you keep saying that. You don't mean nothing by it. I said. You said your last word. Well, what are you waiting for? Get in there and find your girl. What the hell? What the hell? No, I shouldn't have picked that. I should have kicked. Kick it. I remember. Where is he? He went out hunting or something. There were five of them, I think. Well, killed those fellas there. There they are. Come on. Tilly, grab that gun. Anyone approaches, shoot them. Oh, don't worry. I'll be just fine. Now catch that uh, bastard. Uh, uh, the one in front of the boat. Bring him back alive. I ain't done with him yet. All right. Get after them. Yeah. There. Straight ahead. I saw him go through those bushes. Oh, you're gonna pay! All of you! They're heading down the hill to the water. You got it. Oh, there they are by the shoreline. You picked the wrong girl. You've got a couple more seconds to regret what you did. Oh, look at these cowards. Yep. There we All go. Right. I think that last one's the boss. Lasso him and we'll take him back to... Tilly. Don't kill him yet. I want Tilly to have the last word on this bastard. You stay the hell out of this. Come here. That's it. Now make sure you tie him up real good. I'll kill you. Make these nice and tight. All right. You bring that bastard back to Tilly so we can all have a nice little chat. I'm gonna head over there now and check she's okay. With pleasure. I'll take his horse. He won't be needing it no more. That's fair. Step. You have the first idea what you're getting into. Nope. I'm Anthony Foreman. Well, thanks for the introduction, Anthony. Is that foreman with an A? I want the undertaker to spell it right. Funny bastard. <laughs> Who are you running with? Damn coward. Oh, shit. Funny bastard. <laughs> Who are you running with? She didn't tell you? She didn't tell me nothing. Oh, this rope is cutting into me. Don't feel so good when you're the one tied up, does it? She killed Shut my... The hell up. What the hell? She killed my goddamn cousin. Oh, don't worry. You'll be seeing him soon enough. What are you gonna do with me? I ain't sure yet. Reckon I'll let Tilly decide what you deserve. You? All right. Here's your man. Bring him here. Dump him on the ground here. I want to get a good look at this monster. We're going for a walk. So he's still alive then? Ah. Yes. You see this girl? You leave her alone. She killed my cousin. Your goddamn cousin had it coming, Anthony Foreman. I don't care if she shot your daddy and cooked your mama for breakfast. She's mine. She ate yours. You know, a friend of mine, he always says, <clears throat> revenge 
is a fool's game. Now, you want all your boys dead? She had her reasons. We was family, Tilly Jackson. You foreman boys ain't no kind of family I want. Kill him, Arthur. You want that? I want him to go away and tell the remaining of his cousins and the clowns he rides with to leave me alone. Now, you think you can do that, Anthony? Or should I slit your throat and just save us all the bother? I'll leave you alone. History is done. History is never done. It's your call, Arthur. But I'd slit his throat. Go on. Finish them. Uh, yeah. Come on. Let's get you home. She did say she wanted him to go tell all of his cousins and the clowns that he rides with, so... I'm doing what she wanted. up here oh a snake wait have we ever seen a snake before Dang, it's foggy. Oh, I think those are the crops that we burn. Okay. Yep. How far is this place? Dang. Oh, it's all the way freaking. I guess it's not too far. I wish I had un unlimited stamina. That'd be nice. Sure, why not? Get yourself some need. Yeah, yeah. Sir, I want you to have this. Thanks, friend. It's nice to give something instead of just begging. I respect that. Oh, 
there you are, my dear boy. Yes, here I am. Well, we're going to need to get you smartened up a bit. Why? Well, you can't play at the tables on a Lanahasi riverboat looking like this. You can't? Not if you want to fit in so well that no one will realize you're there to rob the place. Now, come on. Are we still doing that? Of course. We're going to fix you up so fine no one will notice a thing. Sounds good. Hello. Can I help you, gentlemen? Yes. My friend here is in need of a new suit. We are playing on the riverboat this evening. Make this gentleman look like the duke he really is. It was the English's fault, his grandfather. Is that all there is? Great. A bit of Apparently. To his profile. The heavy brow from all the... Come on, let's get you to the barber. Sure. Good luck tonight. Oh, I gotta get a haircut? Herr Strauss has scoped the whole thing out. It's quite ingenious. Like, I literally actually. just got a haircut. I think I'm good. The action he has planned. Indeed, it's not much of an action at all. You play cards and win. And you're going to bet very big and flamboyantly while you win. And everyone's going to think you're some new money from the oil fields come to lay it on thick and drunk. All the while, Herr Strauss will be signaling you in your line of sight. When you bust the place, they'll take you upstairs to pay you off. And that is when Javier comes in, and you take whatever you want. You don't think they might see an armed Mexican coming into the safe with me? Sure, they might, but perhaps not. You will see. The suspense is killing me. Oh, don't be so jaded. We both know this is just the kind of innocent fun you thrive on. Well, well, after the past couple of months, arm robbery don't seem such an innocent path. Let me know of any games but you would like me to try next. You, all of us. I think I am getting pretty close to being done with Heavy Rain. I do have a few games lined up, but if there are any other games you would like me to do before I do those, let me know down in the comments down below. Um, I know for a fact that once it comes out, I am going to play, uh, what was it called? Oh my god, what is the name? It's the Telltale series. I'm sure it'll come to me eventually. We'll be done here soon. I hope so. Come on. My good man, could you smarten up my dear hick friend here? This unlikely fellow has made himself a fortune in the oil fields and learned himself not a lick of manners or gentlemanly deportment. Well, very good, sir. No, it's not good. Not good at all. Not if they're going to let him play big at the tables tonight. What about my beard? Make him look like a prince, sir. Sure. There, very smart. Come on, let's get to the box. I've arranged some transportation for us. Hope you have a successful evening, gentlemen. 
to the Grand Corrigan, please. Grand Corrigan, sir. Well, look at you. From Toad to Prince. Yeah, this is a bit much, ain't it? The coach? We can't win any up there on horses like a bunch of countrified yokels. You're a brash oil man. Money to burn. Which reminds me, no shuffling and mumbling. Puff your chest out. Get outside yourself. Yeah, all right, all right. This ain't ham. So, who's a mark? Are you all right, by the way, the driver? Oh, yes. Don't worry. George and I go way back. Sure you do. It's a man called Desmond Blythe. Made a fortune in hosiery, of all things. <laughs> Likes to play fast and always keep some extra collateral in the safe upstairs. So, if Strauss is sitting behind him, how does he know what cards I got? He won't. But the dealer has recently become a very good friend of mine. Another one. Don't worry, Arthur. We're all the authors of our own good fortune. He'll make sure you get the right cards. What could possibly go wrong? <clears throat> Indeed. And what money am I playing with? Don't worry. That has all been arranged. Your chips will be waiting for you. Ah, there she is. Come on. Okay. Arthur, leave any weaponry here. They are searchers when we get on. George, we'll collect these from you later. Very good, sir. Thank you, George. Good luck, sir. Now remember what I said, Arthur. Everyone is the author of his own good fortune. Yes, yes, believe me, I heard every word. Watch Strauss. That's a nice to the boat. Dealer, and this should be a very lucky night. Oh, man, a couple counties open. There they are. So loud Gentlemen. How wonderful to see you, Arthur. You remember this pair of boys we met in New York? Come on, Jim. Champagne is on dear old Arthur. He's rich as can be and feeling luckier than a turkey that survived Thanksgiving. On... Um, did Hello, he just gentlemen. say it's on me? Hello, dear boy. Bro, I'm poor. Come on, come on, let's head aboard. Drinks on Arthur. Champagne. Bro, not cool. Not cool at all. I'm afraid we require all patrons to hand over their guns. Good time. The tables await. Well, I'll go find myself a change of clothes. <sighs> okay. You seem unsure. Robbing a heavily armed riverboat without a gun tends to bring out the self doubt in me. These people are virtually idiots. I mean, this is I don't blame them. I don't I feel like this is going to end well. But don't lose too much money or your wife is going to kill me. Whatever you say. Can I get a cocktail? So can't believe all what's his name? Sean? Or we Shane? I think it was Shane. It, sir. It's gone. Good evening, gentlemen. Arthur Callahan. Sorry, I'm late. I had some uh, unfinished business at the bar. Evening. Desmond Blythe. Good evening. Not to worry. Welcome to the game, Mr. Callahan. Okay, gentlemen. Let's play. I hope you're a player. Been too many cowards at these tables recently. Nothing less dignified than a man afraid to lose a little money. Look at this! Chips already stacked up waiting for me. I like this joint already. We aim to please, sir. So, how are we all fair? Some better than others. If we all fared the same in life now, where would the fun be? Quiet. Wait, not Desmond Blythe, the hosiery king. I should have brought my other wallet. Not my preferred title, but yes, you should have. <laughs> <laughs> okay, sorry, boys. I'm taking it all. We'll see about that. To hell with you. I don't know why I'm doing this, but race. Here we go, then. Well, hello, my 
ladies. Oh, frick, did we lose? Mr. Blythe wins with three queens. <laughs> I don't know how this game works, so. Gentlemen, I guess it's just you and me now, friend. Yes, it is. Time to see if you're really the man you seem to think you are. Likewise, Mr. Blythe. So, what business are you in, Mr. Callahan? I'm an oil man, for my sins. Funny, I haven't heard of you. Oh, you will. You know, I thought about getting into hosiery, but I just look better in a suit. I would say Mr. Callahan, I don't think you have a future on the stage. You sound just like my wife. Sorry to do this to you, but I have no choice. All in. Now, what the hell? It's only money. Yeah, only money. Pair of cowgirls. <laughs> Shit. I won? Nice. Guess my luck held. Is that you done? Done. Bust. Or, uh, you got something else to play with. Meaning... Well, I heard... Well... I heard there were some big boys on this boat. Maybe that's not you. No offense. Sit your hillbilly ass down. Why? I got a watch. Mm. Look at you. An expensive cool. one. Real fine. Swiss. A Reutlinger, no less. It's in the safe upstairs. It's worth more than you. Okay. I just... Now play. As you wish. So, you must know Leviticus Cornwall, big oil man like you. Of course, we've crossed paths. I was fortunate enough to tour a little operation of his up in New Hanover. <laughs> Two kings. I am 100% all in, Mr. Callahan. Don't worry, sir. Everyone is the author of his own good fortune. Well... Nothing He's all in, so I should be on it. All in, I guess. Pear king. Very good, but not good enough. Oh, Shit. great. Uh oh. Yes, you little beauty. Hard lines, Mr. Blythe. Mr. Callahan wins with an ace high diamond flush. God damn you! No offense. None taken. Well played, sir. Unlucky Desmond. Now, forgive my lack of discretion, but uh, where might I find this watch? It's upstairs. Shall we go and have a look? Why not? Gentlemen. That was actually a lot easier than, no, than I thought. I started last week. Good. Sure. Well, perhaps you could escort us up to the office. Yes, of course, sir. Thank you. Follow me, gentlemen. Come with me, sir. You're having quite the night. Yeah, so far. I cannot believe someone gave a greaser a job. <laughs> we live in strange times. Personally, I wouldn't trust one with a gun, but fear not. I've got my own little lawgiver right here. Very good. Next. We'll be hiring Negroes. Yeah, I know, I know. I think you're going to like this watch, sir. I saw it earlier, and it really is a handsome piece. Foreign made, but you can't have everything. Indeed. Well, here we are. Just give me one second, sir. Of course, take your time. <clears throat> Don't reach for that gun. Take his gun, Arthur. Can I? 
Quick, Arthur. It won't let me. Come on, what are you doing? Bro, it's not letting me take the stupid gun. Get his gun. Go on. Oh, his gun. Okay. Thought that meant the guy's gun that was on the ground. Only an idiot would give a greaser a gun. <laughs> idiot, huh? You in here is looking pretty good. How much is there? Must be a few thousand plus the watch. Nice. Now let's get out of here. Come on. Let's go meet the others. Sure. I reckon we've only got a few minutes to get out of here. If we're lucky. Something's gonna happen. Was that a gunshot? It sounded like one. Come on. And how exactly are we getting out of here? I ain't too sure. <laughs> we didn't Just think of a way to get out. And when you leave Trelawney in charge of planning, oh garnish no meat. Probably involve us dressing up as dancing girls and can cannon off the side. Nice uniform, by the way. Thanks. I give anyone a job these days. Anyway, we shouldn't give ourselves away until we know we need to. Maybe we could still blend into the crowd when it all goes crazy. Which it surely will. To the bar, senor! I hope you had fun, sir. <laughs> In the time of my life. You boys sure know how to put on a show. <laughs> That's wonderful. Ah, <laughs> look, there's your friend. My friend is not a no good cheat, and I beg you to take back the insinuation. There he is. Oh, don't be a sore loser, friend. There's something I don't like about the pair of you. There's plenty I don't like about you, but I have the good manners to keep my mouth shut. There he is. Shoot that man. Ah! Oh, Come on, yep. Cutscene. Because uh, I had no idea where we were going. You think they would have like had someone there with a, like a little well, boat ready per and prepared? Moment. Yeah, that's one way of putting it. So, how much did we get? Uh, a few thousand, I think. Pretty good. Yes, indeed. And this watch. Uh, apparently, it's worth a bunch of uh, Swiss, uh, Reutlinger or something. Nice watch. Yes, it's a right lingo, all right. <laughs> we'll give it back then. All right, come on, let's get out of here. I wonder how much the watch is. Um, I don't think it's gonna be that much. Maybe a hundred. I'll be surprised if it's over five hundred, to be honest. Oh. Quite a bit of money right there. Alright, uh. So there's a mystery one right here. American Fathers. Oh, the Indians. Are there, those are the Indians that we saw when we first came down here, I believe. Vamos, would you 
Guess we'll go see them. That'd be cool. Where's my horse? There you are, boy. Or girl. Or whatever. Well, I believe we've met. We have. At that ghastly party. Oh, Evelyn Miller. Unfortunately so, Mr. Uh... Arthur Morgan, at least sometimes. Uh, can I say something rude? Sure. The mayor thinks you robbed him. Well, I... uh, to be clear, he, he wasn't very upset about it. He rather liked you. Okay. Do you, uh... Well, I mean to say... Uh... Can you steal things? Is there a reason you're asking me to incriminate myself, Mr. Miller? <laughs> well, I'm sorry. Have you met? This is Rainsfall, a great chief, and his son, Eagle Flies. Gentlemen, I mm. saw you in the wagon train crossing the river at Cumberland Falls. And at the party, you were upstairs. You have great powers of observation. Yes, my people, if we are even a people anymore. We've fought hard. We've made peace treaties, and those treaties were broken, and we've been moved and punished and punished and moved. I'm sure. And now I am told we are to be moved again. Clearly contravening the peace treaty signed three years ago. This will lead to war. No, my son, it will not. We cannot fight another war. They have got stronger, and we have become far weaker, Mr. Morgan. Well, it's a bad business. It's to do with oil. I know it is, but I need the proof. I believe there were some prospectors who were on their land a few months ago who have filed reports with Leviticus Cornwall and the state government claiming huge reserves of oil under their land. <sighs> so, you want me to try and steal it? Well, obviously they can't. <laughs> And even more obviously, I would be useless. Listen, I realize that it is a ridiculous request, but we're very desperate. Yeah, I'm not a do-gooder, Mr. Miller. Gentlemen, I'm very sorry for your predicament, but I'm a working man. I got problems of my own. That's will pay true. very handsomely, Mr. Morgan. How much? I told you, they're all mercenaries. <laughs> <laughs> There's a price on my head in two states, my friend. The government doesn't like me any more than it does you. Like you, I've been running for as long as I can remember. And like you, my time here is nigh undone. We understand, and we will pay. Thank you. You meet my son in a couple of days near Citadel Rock, just west of the oil fields. Okay. We are very grateful for your help. Gentlemen, that appointment with the Senator we should head over there. It's a waste of our time. And his. Oh. We must try everything. Come along. Hello, Mr. Miller. The counselor wants to apologize. He can see you now. We've been waiting I don't know how long. Or next month, if you'd like to reschedule. Come. Perhaps the senator won't mind waiting. Yeah. You didn't see nothing. How did that? Did that hurt horse not even like budge? You know, just act like that didn't happen, okay?
I would help you, but I don't I don't feel like it. To be completely honest. Somebody please help me. Oh hey you please. Sorry, I I'm I can't I can't hear you. I think they probably both got bit by a snake or something. They both look like they're bleeding. Am I a bad person for leaving them? Eh, oh well. Well, we haven't done a mission with Lenny in a while. I like doing missions with him. He's pretty cool. Are the camp funds really only at? Let's add some money to the camp funds. I want to get some upgrades. But I thought like a whole bunch of money went to it just now. Hmm, weird. Oh well. Thousand. We'll do We'll do a thousand. Twelve hundred. There now we should be able to get some upgrades for the camp. Oh wait, oops. Okay, this is all that helped our thing. Okay, that's good. That's really good. Okay. We still got plenty of money to get more stuff. Chicken coop. That's that's a good one right there. I feel like they should have put like a little fence around it. So you know they don't escape. We might have enough for one more thing. Let's see. So we got... Okay, we got... $333. Guess we can do this. Seems like they're pretty much putting nothing in, to be honest. Alright. That's, that's good enough. Maybe once we get back and we make some more money, we will add a few more things. Should we get some rest? No, we're good. Yeah, we're good. Alright, let's go down the Shady. Shit. Yeah. Adler. Adler, okay. I really gotta remember these names. Like, I have so many names from this game to remember, and on top of that, I have 
names from the other game that I'm playing to remember. Oh, she's she's one of my favorites. How you doing, Mr. Sadler? How are you? Been quite a journey since I, well, since I joined you fellas. Yes. And now you and Dutch have joined high society. Oh, Lord above. Yeah, seems so. I think my days in polite society are over. Well, I just saw Bill Williamson at a party at the San Denise's mayor's house. <laughs> if he can do it, anyone can. You get any leads? Yeah, I think so. You know so, Arthur Morgan. Come on, we need to talk. Miss Sadler, will you excuse us? When are you gonna let me come robbing with you, Dutch? My lord, a few more like her, we could take over the whole world. Yeah. A few more like her, there wouldn't be much of a world left. Yes, perhaps. Now, the trolley bus station. I went down there. I took a look at it. I think we can hit it. I ain't never robbed in a city before. Yeah, well, you leave the planning to me. You'll ride with me. Always. Is it just you and me? No, we'll need one more, I reckon. I say Lenny. Not Micah. Well, that depends if you want a massacre or a payday. No, I wish that there was something I could do to make the two of you get along better. Well, that's easy. Make him change. Very funny. I want Adler. What is that? What the hell have they done to me? Look, they're in the tree line. Everybody take cover! Our disco boys are coming! What the? Oh, frick, I don't have the range. There we go. Holy... Wow! Who did they say that one? Oh my god. Okay, I'm on my way. Damn crap. Come on, damn Driscoll. What's happening? Driscoll, hold in here. Stay away from the window. You too, Mr. Pierce. Take her out. That was an awful shot. What's happening out here? Everyone okay? Everyone but Kieran. Just get down and try and hold them off. We got him now. What the frick? I don't remember these guys. They say they're the old Driscolls, but they don't look like it. Unless they're like trying something new with the mask. Oh, this took a turn. <laughs> wow. I got this. Get these windows covered quickly. John, you take the windows over there. Charles, you take the side doors there. Arthur, you take the windows in the back. Go. Dutch is getting it. Don't look like much. Is everyone accounted for? I think. Hey, I said, is everyone accounted for? I don't know. I think. You corner now, you no good bastards. Say goodbye. You ain't gonna get an urge. Ooh. Sadie, I gotta go help her. Cover me. Who's this lady here? Dutch always had a fondness for women. Sadie, Sadie, I'm coming. 
Yeah, I swear she dies. Oh, I'm gonna kill all of you. Yeah. Or she can just handle herself. That's cool. Nice. Miss all this? Come on, Arthur. Now we go back. We need you in the. We need you in the house, Mrs. Adler. Oh no, they don't. No, really? We were trying to tell you that. Frick! Oh, I should have just kept running. I should have just kept running. I don't know why I didn't. Am I going to have to go in? Oh, okay. We need you in the house, Mrs. Adler. Oh, no, they don't. You said back to the house, you moron. No offense. Hey, I we were in this together. You said back to the house. I ran to the house. Oh, so now we go to the house. Oh, shoot. Nice. You okay? There we go. I think so. Except for Karen here. Uh, poor kid. Mr. Swanson, could you take this boy and bury him someplace near, but not too near? Of course. Charles, help me with the body. We need to get this place cleaned up. Mr. Pearson, Miss Grimshaw. Already taking care of it. Come on now, work. Como Driscoll. Oh, I know him now. He was the one guy that we captured at the so beginning. Can I, so can I. It's been so long yeah, since that part. Honestly, it feels like years. So we should start looking for another camp. You ain't thinking big enough, Arthur. You ain't seeing the vastness of our problems and our opportunities. I'm not sure I get you. You will, son. You will. Meet me near the trolley station. We got work. Shall we? Yep. <clears throat> that was fun. I could not save his. Mrs. Adler fought braver than any of us. She is driven by powerful forces I scarcely understand. That's what love has done to her, I guess. Oh, 
That's the... Oh, okay. Okay, um... I don't know. Which one should we do first? I want to do both of these today. That's for sure. Alright, you know what? We'll, we'll, since uh, Dutch is closer, we'll go to him. It makes sense, right? There you are. Come on, keep walking. You're late. Oh, Lenny is doing it with a school. Turned into some clock watching city boy. What's the urgency? We need to leave forever. We've been doing well, making money, but for us all to leave together, we need enough for a boat. Now I found a friendly ship captain. He's willing to take us to Australia. Wait, so we're actually planning on leaving like the whole country? Hell yeah. Or Tahiti. We just need to pay for passage and give him money for land when we get there. No questions asked. We will disappear. Be reborn. Well, where the hell is Tahiti? South Pacific. An untouched paradise. Who lives there? Tahitians, I guess. We made sure. a bit of yeah. money on that, that works. job, but not enough for us to leave and live peacefully. Where's the rest coming from? In there. So we are going to rob that place. Well, I didn't think we was fixing the plumbing. I don't know if you have noticed, but we are on the clock. I reckon we got a few days before the Pinkerton show, and then well, we're done. Now, we need money. Bronte said this place has got money. Come on. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a robbery. Behave as I tell you, and none of you will die. Annoy me, and you all will. Now, remember, we just want money. Don't make us kill you. Mr. M, leave these fine Give me your money. Valuables. Mr. Ain't Nash, worth check that dying. room back there. Okay. I got this one. Fine, it's yours. Fine. That's your choice. Not mine. Kindly open that gate and let my acquaintance inside. Now, I'm gonna need everything you got on you. All right, there's everything, I okay? I said open the gate and let my acquaintance There's in. nothing much here. There's what? There's of course. nothing really here. You're sure? Yes. 
Then get okay, out here then, partner. and get ready for Hold company. Still. All of you! Behave! We don't want to hurt any of you. Mr. M, check the safe. Sure. Open it. I don't think they keep much cash in there. Open it! There's almost nothing here. There should be stacks of cash in there. He told us there was. Look again. There's no stacks. A few dollars in coins. That's it. Damn. We got a problem. There's a nah, that was a failure. There. Come on now. We got you surrounded. That's it. Greasy son of a bitch. He set us up. You think this seemed like a good time for sarcasm to you, Arthur? We yes. <laughs> yes, it does. The trolley. The trolley. Follow me, gentlemen. Oh, nice headshot right there. I say that was a great plan and it worked out so well. Great idea, boys. Great ideas. Like, why do we keep trusting people? Hey, <laughs> makes no sense. Dang it. I knew I should have hid. Through here. Let's go. You all right, Dex? I won't lie. I've been better, son. Lenny, keep an eye on oh, Shit. Stay in here, too. Ah. Let them follow us. Stick with me, Dex. I'll lead you out. 
to the street. Ooh, oh, that didn't look like it went to a good spot. Ooh, oh, right in the face. Dang. I honestly couldn't even see if that was his head or not. There we go. That should be it, hopefully. Bro, freaking blew his head off. Dang. Oh, boy. That thing has some kick to it. That works. That'll do it. We're through. You see any more? Just keep going, kid. You okay back there? Don't worry about me. Just get us out of here. I think we're clear. You know what, Dutch? Next time, it's not damn discretion. Seemed like a good lead. I know, but... Well, we made it. 
Thanks to you. Don't mention it. Yeah, you're a good kid. Yeah, and we each got fifteen dollars. Oh, and a quarter. Don't forget the quarter. Shut up, Arthur. He set us up. <clears throat> Played me like a yokel. Put the law on us. What do we do to him? What did I do to him? I guess he thinks he's the king around here. He don't want the likes of you. That so, could be it, to be honest. What are we doing next, Dutch? We just need money. One more decent take, and we're gone. The bank is our bet. Jose agrees. Even after that? <laughs> especially after that. I don't feel so good. Now you just got a bash on the head. Come on. I'm taking you back to camp. Hey, you did real good there, Lenny. Just wish it could have turned out better. Well, you can't win them all. All right. Let's go to that one guy. What was his name? Um, I'm just going to call him Eagle. That's basically his name, right? Eagle flies. Okay. Yeah, Eagle. This is going to be a long trip. No, I cannot. Hey, yeah, we that we have to go so far. I mean, we're pretty close now. I guess we're not too far away. Take it easy there, boy. 
Oh, I'm getting tired. I think this is going to be the last mission for today. Blind man. Okay, sure. I sense great confusion in you, sir. That is great confusion. very true. Not because you do not know, but because you are afraid of what you know. Okay. I ain't too sure what to make of that. Please, I need to be alone Idiot. with my thoughts now. All right, have fun. Let's do this. You came. Of course I came. Said I would. There's a foreman. His name is Danbury. Is the files in the office <laughs> above the refinery room. It's that window with the blind drawn up. I see. If the files are as incriminating as we believe, Mr. Cornwall's men will destroy them if they know you're coming. There's only one of me, son. I don't intend for them to know I'm coming. What will the files say? There'll be a report from Leyland Oil Development Company. And you got the money? Yes. Any ideas how I sneak into this place? You could crawl under the fence or hide in a wagon. They keep rolling in. I'll go take a look. If there's a problem, call for me. I thought the whole point was that this had nothing to do with you. Ideally. If you are quick, you could climb into the back of that wagon. I guess we just wait. <laughs> It looks familiar. Did we do something here before? Hey, Tom. Picking up? Yep. Supposed to meet the early train to San Denis. Okay. Better get a move on then. I am so surprised I didn't look in the back. He should be fired. I think that's safe to say. How long do I have to stay in here? All right, I'm gonna start loading up. We should be able to go up these stairs, I believe. Cause it's upstairs, I think.
Can I not pick it? Oh, okay, I guess we can do it the easy way. Just go through the open door. So far, so good. Hopefully, I didn't jinx myself by saying that. I don't know why I'm whispering, but I am. Don't judge. Maybe I shouldn't have killed him. Oh well. Like not like I can change it. Ah, you must be damn Barry. Who? <clears throat> what? Quieten yourself, friend. This won't take long. Yes. I need some papers, my friend. Nothing important. A file. I'm from head office. You're not from head office? Oh. Does that seem important right now? No. I need a file by the Leland Oil Development Company. The one about the oil near Wapiti. I... I... Danbury. Mind is a terrible thing to lose, especially over such a nice floor as this. It's here. It's here. Where? Promotion for this. No, Danbury. Danbury? Danbury, you okay? Tell the guard you're fine. Yes. All's fine. Now stay quiet. Or head office will send me back to get you. Oh. 
No! Again! Oh, I really need to start thinking when I'm playing these. Son of a bitch! Immediately. What do you think I just did? That explosion came just in time. I was happy to watch some of that oil burn. So you met Mr. Danbury? Yes, don't worry, he was very obliged. I thought you wasn't getting involved. I thought you were going to enter and leave silently. Thank you. Fair Save enough. Love. Thank you. I hope. Well, I don't know what I hope. But who knows? Maybe these will be of some use. Here's your money. Thank you. How much we get? 250. Okay, that's pretty good. This is locked, so either I can't do that one yet, or I just can't do it when it's nighttime. So what I'm gonna do, I'll. Mm, is there like a closed town? I'll go to the closest town. And maybe sleep, wake up, and then take one of the coach. Don't move, or you die. I think those were the. Oh, another <laughs> the one. Spoke too soon. Can I speak now? Nope. Alright. Those are the worst bounty hunters I've ever seen. I took down what? Six, seven of them? In about 20 seconds? Good help is so hard to find nowadays, am I right? Alright, but that mission is uh, available now, so maybe it was just because we had bounty hunters. So yeah, we'll go here, we'll get some sleep, wake up, get in the, uh, the coach, and then go to as close as we can to our place. Which is probably St. Denise. 
then I will do an outro. Is there a hotel available? Why, yes, there is. The queasy feeling you've been having? I think that's because there's so many undriscals about. I'm good, thanks. There we go. Welcome, welcome. Come on in. We'll do bath first. You got a bath. I got someone warming it up for you already. Just head down the corridor there. Wait, is it up here or is it downstairs? I think it might be down here. Assistance in there. Sure. sure. Why not? Why not? <laughs> Please be PG. You can just leave it to me now. I'll be out of your hair in no time. Leg. Let me know if you'd like a bit of an extra scrub anywhere. So how's it going? Yes, yeah, not too bad. You might be the friendliest person I've met in this town. And that sure doesn't surprise me about this place. Now the other arm and then we're done. Give him some good hygiene. Is that Let it? Let me know if I'm scrubbing too hard, okay? Does it end by itself or do we have to end it? Alright, I think that should do it. Goodbye now. All right, now let's go rent a room. Is it already morning? Best night sleeping Valentine, right here. <laughs> oh well. Got any rooms? Rooms all yours. Head on up. So it's morning, right? Evening. I might just sleep all the way until morning, to be honest. That might be the best bet.
Alright, we'll go back to sleep. Morning. Alright, it's morning. Now let's take uh, a stagecoach to St. Denise and then we'll go to... Heck, I probably could just do this off stream, but I mean off freaking recording, but oh well. Need to freshen up a bit? Got a bathing service. Thanks, Mister. No, Brother Protus, you're simply not a gentleman. You're a scoundrel, and quite frankly, it's more like that. I guess we can get some food real quick. Hey, sugar. Move out of my. Get out of my way, lady. What do you have? Plans for. Just get out of my way. Alright. Is there a stagecoach? Guess I can go to the post office. Oh, oh, hey, friend. Remember me? I'm good. Time to go, boy. <laughs> Bless you. Thank you. Yeah, I know I did that. I mm. I'm good. Massacre over at the trolley station in San Denis. I knew a fellow who worked there for a while. Terrible business. You paid it all off then. Good for you, I guess. You must have done something mighty bad to be worth all this. Clear this ride up for you. Train ticket. Um. Think. Yeah, Saint Denise is closer. Here, uh, you be on your way. Alrighty.
You learn how to ro walk, bro. Tell me how to learn how to walk. Freaking jerk. Alright. Back to camp. I didn't expect to do that. Wait, did it say I have mail? Where is the post office? Oh, is it right there? Freak. Yeah, we won't worry about it right now. He doesn't know what he's talking about. Oh, fine. Oh my god. That is such a stupid horse. I didn't even want to jump. They got my wife. Please, mister. They got to do something. All right. Oh. It's a sack down in the swamp by the water. Fine. Okay. Go on. See if you can find the law. I'll do what I can. Oh. One more. 
Nice. Am I good to go or? There's some money I put away in the sack there. It ain't enough, but please take it. Well, if you don't mind if I do. Where's the safe? Go back to our camp. <laughs> there we go. Okay. Let's see where we are at in the story. So we're at 35. I feel like it's not going to go up too high. I feel like it might be at 40. 30 now. Okay. Close enough. All right. Okay. So that is it for Red Dead Redemption 2. Make sure you subscribe, turn on post notifications, give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed. And I will see you in the next one. Peace.